So I have been doing research on cutting the cord lately and we have completely cut out our TV and we have a high definition antenna so we just get the local channels since we don't watch a lot of TV and we've been looking for DVR options. I wanted to review for you one that we have tried to give you a little overview and see if it works for y'all in your DVR needs. This is the Tableau. It is a way to wirelessly or wired or through ethernet watch TV, um, your recorded shows. This is the four tuner version, which means you can record up to four shows at the same time. This is, it's not very big. I do like the size and like that comes on when you plug it in. And through the back here, you will see on this side is where you plug in your antenna, your high definition antenna. You've got two, two USB ports here. It uses an external hard drive to record your shows and movies on. Further down, you have your ethernet port. You don't have to plug it in to the ethernet port. You can um, connect to it wirelessly through your internet service. You've got a blue reset button here. If your machine goes wonky and you need to reset it, that's the button to push. And here, of course, is your uh, power plug. So you, I guess downside or alternative would be you have to have an external hard drive to record your shows on, so that's an extra expense. And here I have a, a Seagate 1.5 terabyte portable hard drive. The Tableau, although I do like the size of the machine, it d did not work for us, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the interesting thing, let me say the good points about it, is that what it's really made to do is to be able to watch your shows that you record or live TV through a Tableau app from, you can use the Plex app with your PlayStation 3 like we have in the living room, you can use the Roku, you can use Chromecast and download the Tableau app on your smartphone or tablet and you can also use like the Amazon Fire Stick or Chromecast and also you can uh, straight up use it on your computer by going to their website and access your recorded shows there. So that's very interesting if you are away from home a lot or you travel or maybe you're staying somewhere on a vacation home you can still watch your recorded shows and movies which is nice but uh, we we don't really need to watch our shows away from home so that the major feature of the Tableau that did not work for us. We just wanted something to be able to record our shows, watch it in the living room and then say continue it in the bedroom which sounded really awesome. Um, it sounded perfect. The price was um, a little expensive. The two tuner is about $200. The four tuner I believe is $299 on Amazon. And then you have the additional expense of the external hard drive, which could be around $80. So it could be kind of pricey, but when you compare the other DVR options, I think that they run about, about the same. You can get a little bit cheaper options, but um, as far as I know, you get limited limited channel guides and things like that with those. But as far as the Tableau goes, um, you don't have to have it in the same room as your TV. You basically, since it works over your Wi-Fi system, you really just need to have a place that you can hook it into your cable, your in cable antenna, and then it automatically, you can plug it into your modem with an ethernet cord or you can go wirelessly through your internet. So it's nice that it doesn't have to be in the same room. But um, the actual functioning of the Tableau itself for the little bit that I did try it out, I was not big on, and I will tell you why. Now, the major issue with I found with the Tableau is if you just want to watch TV, regular channels, don't want to watch your recordings, um, you would go to the either Chromecast it from your phone or your tablet and um, onto your TV or go into the, you can use the Roku, I've used it with the Roku also, and go into the Tableau app and you would go to live TV and then it was like you would have to choose which channel you want to watch. It would show you what shows on but then you select that channel and then it would buffer and then you know receive the signal and it could it took anywhere from five to eight seconds which when I'm used to turning on the TV and just seamlessly changing the channel from channel to channel it's that little bit of time really started frustrating me after a while. You know, I just wanted to watch TV and change the channel. So say 
you know, there's a commercial on, I want to switch channels, I would have to go back out into the Tableau app, into the live TV section, select what channel I wanted to go to, and then wait another 5-10 seconds for it to buffer and connect to the next channel because you're basically downloading the signal from live TV. So that was, after using it for about a day, and it was driving me insane, just the wait time you had to wait just to just to um, change channels, it's the tablet just did not work for me in my our needs. So um, if I tried to hook it in again after I packed it up because I'm going to resell it and um, I, I should have videoed it in action. Another downside is that with the Tableau you can either pay a monthly subscription or a lifetime subscription of $150. I think monthly it's $5 a month and then you can also pay um, I think yearly, I don't remember, it might be like $50 a year uh, or $150 lifetime which gives you the channel guide. Otherwise if you don't pay anything you will not, you will have very limited uh, capability with the channel guide, which is the main reason why I wanted one. So with that extra expense also, it's a little bit more and the way that it functions did not work for me. So long story short, the Tableau was not what I'm looking for. It is nice that you can also use it in the bedroom. You don't have to unplug anything. You can just use the app and access it that way but yet again you're using the app from your phone or tablet or your computer you do not have a remote control unless you're using something like the Roku that has a remote control which is which is a definitely a plus having a remote control is a plus I don't like having to have my phone on me for everything you know I might want to look something up on my phone while I'm watching TV well I want to change the channel I have to go back into the app on my phone select what channel I want to go to and then, you know, completely get out of what I'm doing originally. So that was a big frustration and I don't like honestly change the channel. So that is my review and I hope it's helpful and, um, you know, it, it'll definitely work for a lot of people because it got a lot of good reviews, but for my needs, I just, I was not a big fan. So the other options out there I might try, I think, might be the TiVo. And I'll see if I can get a used unit on eBay or something with the lifetime subscription already included in the price. That way you don't have an extra expense. So um, if I can get one at a good price, that would be great. If not, I might look at some different options. So I hope my review helped, and um, I hope you consider cutting the cord also and saving a lot of money. We figured it would save us about $1,000 a year, given our cable prices around here. And that's pretty substantial, especially for something that we don't we don't watch a lot of the other channels. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!